Okay, this video assumes you've already installed PGP on your system and is a quick way to show you how to encrypt and decrypt a message with it not being incorporated into your mail client. This is the preferred way for this class because some folks have had a problem when they've uninstalled PGP later on if they use the, tri the full trial version. So, first thing you're going to do is go down to your taskbar and you're going to open up the PGP desktop just so you can see what's in there. So we're going to open it up and you'll notice I've got just a single one and I've actually created the one you're not using in class just for this video. Okay, so now that we have this, what we're going to do is we need to start putting together a email. Now to test doing this with an email, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Cochise College Outlook web app. So you all have a availability of this, but Gmail works, Hotmail works. Remember, do not use Yahoo because they put some characters at the end of the end of each line in the message that messes up what PGP does. So I'm going to create a new message and we're just going to sit there. We won't worry about sending it actually so because we're going to encrypt the body of the message. Okay, this is a test message. Okay, then I'm going to select everything in there and then I'm going to copy it. So I use Control-A and Control-C. And then we're going to go back down to our taskbar down here. And if you notice, if you single click, that's a left click, on the little icon right here at the bottom that says Clipboard. And once you open that up, you can see you can have all sorts of options. And the one we're going to do is Encrypt and Sign. Okay, so now we're going to encrypt it, but we're going to sign it so that you know it came from the particular individual. So we're going to click that, and what we have to do is drag a recipient. Now in this case, there are no recipients up here, but you would, what you would end up having to do is the, the email recipient that you had, you would drag down here, okay? And what that is, is this is the person who you are sending it to, and this, the only way it gets up there is if you import their public key. And I'm going to talk about how to do that later on. So I'm going to use my own so I can sh I can easily decrypt it. And I'm going to click OK now. And I've since I've already typed in my password, my password is cached. But right now, if I had more than one of key, I could sit there and actually go and do this and select the, the appropriate key. Now remember, you do you can use any key with any email address. Okay, you don't have to sit there and use. For instance, I'm I would send this in my Cochise account, and I'm using Gmail. That's fine. When you use the clipboard method, there's no connection between the two. But you should always use what is your default email if you have more than one. Okay. So now I've done it, and it doesn't look like anything happened, does it? Well, you come back over here, select everything in your message again, and now paste. And what you're going to see is this is the PGP message. And it starts from the beginning of the begin PGP message line till the end of the end PGP message line. Those are also included, and you will get an error if you don't have those there. Okay, so boom. That's all there is to it. I would just address it and then send it. And obviously, don't spell check. <laughs> now, to reverse the process, we would just go in here and select the entire message, again, using the begin PGP message and the end PGP message. We would copy it. And now we go back to the taskbar, back into our little PGP pop-up menu. And under clipboard, we're going to decrypt and verify. And it would ask you for the password if it needed it and popped here it is it's a good signature and there is the message i sent including all my signature since i copied that that's all there is to encrypting and decrypting a message using the clipboard method okay so that ends this particular recording thank you very much